my goodness guys second video we're doing really well today so this next video includes history and past and memories and everything related to that guys um i set myself a challenge my mum gave me my brother and my sisters little albums of photos of our history of our childhood of our family and to be honest that photo album was getting too much for me to store around um and my kids were wrecking it so i thought i'd do a little bit more um bring into my own style into it and i made a new pro um project of my own to scrap them all now there's loads of photos in here guys, I, I didn't count them and I wish I had because if I had I can honestly say I think there's over a hundred but I thought I'd give you a layout share. There will be, there is a video already as a scrap layout on progress on my YouTube, please do go head over and have a nosy but hopefully I will get some of these, the progress layout made on YouTube for you. I have a few more page kits um already made to be put on so hopefully if i have time i'll record the um the progress and how i did them on youtube for you guys if not i will hopefully also get some page kits um recorded for you how i made them and all that process but for today i thought i'd show you how many i've done and what they turned out like this one the first one i want to show you is a double layout so two page spread um it's same photo, the same place, not the same photo, but it's the same place, you know, when the photos were taken, so I made it a double spread. So my title is Welcome Sweet Blessings, and that's the other side. So it's of my nan when we was on holiday, and I just thought I'd show you, because my nan meant the world to me. Um, I have this one. Um, I now have some vellum um, paper packets, which I've been working with, which is quite cool. Um, I'm trying to do a lot of mixed media as well, guys, with my um, with my layout. So I've got I've got ribbons, vellum, stickers. I mean, I've got hidden journals with tags and stuff, which I think is quite cool. Um, I'm even making pockets to put. See, that's two photos me and my brother, um, as we were babies on there. I, j I just feel like. I need to start exploring new ways and I wish I recorded these but to be honest guys like I told you I'm able to only record on the weekends because when it gets when my husband gets home it's just too late for me to do it it's just too late for me to record so the title for this one is brother and sister together as friends ready to face whatever life sends and I just love that quote we we always fought but we're, at the end of the day we was always there for each other um this one doesn't really have a title oh I've lost the T to that um, but I have a little quote here for my um, sixth form leaving. I used quite a bit of washi as well on that one, guys. Um, you'll see a theme in most of these um, with the gold and heart of home collection because I'm trying to use up what I've got left before I use all my new stuff. So that's what I come with that. I had a, a rack as well, guys, from a lovely lady on Facebook. She sent me so much stuff. And this here was self-adhesive, this was. And I was just loving it. And some vellum tags. A little monkey. That Santora girl I made. Um, from a decoupage kit. I loved that. My nan and granddad at my aunt and uncle's wedding. I even used buttons on this one. How it's going to um, hold up when I get my album. I'm not quite sure. Another Santora girl. Um, but yeah. Some string. So as you can see, I've tried to use mixed media, guys. I have tried. A lot of these don't have journaling spots. Now, the reason for that is because, one, I was probably too young, don't remember. Um, that's a little thing there. And two, I probably just like the layout as it is. I mean, some of them here, I have left journaling spots because I do remember. And I know what I want to put there. But it's getting it there. You know, I haven't had time. I just need to get these photos scrapped. And then one day I will just sit there, like here again. One day I will just sit there and I will just journal my little heart out. You know, I think I'll be sat there forever. Like here, I could have put a journaling spot and it would look so much better if there was a journaling spot. But I have no idea what I'm going to put there. If 
one day, uh, one day I decide I know when I'm going to put up there, then I will. This is okay. Okay, I'll go. I'm back. <laughs> Husband came in the room. Um, but yeah, this is already a layout that's already on video recorded on YouTube, so hopefully you'll go check that one out. Um, this one is got bits coming off already. Look, I need to put this bit back on. I didn't actually do that because uh, a layout I tried to use quite a bit of confetti on there, so that's that one. This one is one of my favourite ones now. My poor nan, she um she passed away a while ago now actually. Um and this photo I kept it taking it with me everywhere. I'd folded it up, I'd done writing on there. Um, two thousand and nine she passed away. But I wanted to keep it with me. So I made a little envelope. I didn't want to glue it down, I didn't want to get rid of that paper and um, writing and I just strung her together because she was so strong, my nan was, and I just miss her every day. Um I, I feel like if she was here, things wouldn't be the way they are. If you know, if any of you have any inkling of what it is like to have someone that kept your family together, and if you know, if they were here, things wouldn't be the way that they were. Um, my nie my niece's birthday. She had a magician. It was, it was very entertaining. Um, of course, I've journaled here already with my nan. There are loads of photos of my nan. I just, I think I got the majority of them because we had such a close bond. Um, another hidden photo. I hid. Looking back at this, I wish I trimmed my photo down because you can see it, or at least moved it down a little bit because you can see it in there. Um, another one with a vellum. Um, one with my mum. Now I decoupage, um, decoupage glued, um, gloss glued this. Um, and I wish I hadn't, because I did it on my vellum, and it's, as you can can you see, it's kind of like lifted my vellum up, and I tried to staple these, and I've got these bits, but my stapler doesn't reach that far, so I'm going to have to like double side glue that or something. That's my mum, by the way. And then another one I did. These are recent ones, all these ones at the back. Um, I also tried to decoupage napkins. I've even got... A napkin on here and this texture is really cool I haven't used it before um, but I find it really cool so there you have it guys these are the layouts so far um, like I said before hopefully I'll get some layouts recorded either with page kit prepping or progress um, making um, but we'll see um, again thank you for watching guys if you're new here by the way um, I would like to say welcome and if you came over from other channels, um, I would like to say thank you to those channels that sent you. And also I'd like you to um, please do subscribe. It means the world to me and I thank each and every one of you that do subscribe. Um, it means the world to me. You don't have to leave comments. You don't have to send me anything because I'm not, I'm not about that. I just like to know people are watching my videos and that you enjoy them. Um, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.